Hello everyone from the Travel Inspire community. Today I'm going to take you to the Ashune Gallery, a private gallery, which is a coral museum, and it's inside Galleria Umberto. We're visiting the Museum of Coral together with Giancarlo Ascione. Giancarlo Ascione is one of the members of uh, the Ascione family. They are the owners of this beautiful private museum. We're starting our visit uh, from this picture because this picture shows us Torre del Greco, a place where coral is worked into beautiful jewels. And it shows us the coralline ships that used to fish for coral and go on journeys for about nine months away from Torre del Greco. The Bourbon kings decided to concentrate the craftsmanship of uh, coral in Torre del Greco after Vesuvius erupted in 1794, destroying the city. So to give the city new hope, they decided to concentrate uh, all uh, coral works there. These are some pictures of um, the showroom of the Ashone family after the works of the 1920s. The history of the Ashone family uh, dates back far beyond that. We know that in 1794 they had a fleet uh, for fishing coral. And after that, in uh, the 1820s, um, they started working coral themselves. From this picture, we can see that most of the people fashioning the coral into jewels were women. 1876, the Ashune family were actually present for the 100 years of the independence of uh, the United States. In 1934, they made a cup for drinking wine during the Holy Communion. This cup was donated by the Savoia House, the royal house of Italy at the time, uh, to the treasury of San Gennaro in Naples. This is the Ascione family logo. It's uh, a beautiful sculpture of the god Eros, god of love, um, riding a mythical creature, half horse, half mermaid, called Pistriche. This is a coral of the Mediterranean that coral from Japan. Looks a little bit like a bonsai. It has thicker branches and it has a greater range of color from dark red to pink to white. This is a model of the ship's coralline used for fishing coral at one time. On the lower right you can see kind of an anchor that was used as a tool to fish out the coral. So these are cameos uh, from the drawing uh, on the cameo on the right. You can see that it's going to be worked in a Madonna with child, Holy Mary with child. Cameos are made by using the difference in color between the outer shell, which is white, and the inner shell which has colors ranging from red to pink to amber. Cameos were inspired by Roman jewelry found in Pompeii. On the left you can see the first step of working a cameo and how it slowly progresses into the finished cameo on the far right. We are now in the gallery's uh, treasure trove. This is Caroline Bonaparte, who is obviously related to Napoleon. She came to Naples and she took a passion for coral jewelry and she um, gave uh, other kings and queens coral jewels all over the world. Before her arrival in Naples, Coral was not considered such a precious jewel and it was not mounted in silver or gold. 
being uh, considered a blood jewel, a coral recalled the times of the guillotine for the French. This uh, tear or almost uh, a crown of coral is interesting because the coral was worked in Torre del Greco but it was uh, later mounted in France. So. At one point in the 1800s, the second half of the 1800s, Queen Victoria of England uh, suffered a loss so she couldn't wear any red jewellery. At the same time, uh, uh, excavations in Pompeii became extremely popular among uh, aristocracy. And so Queen Victoria asked the Shone family uh, to fashion her some jewels made out of lava stone from Vesuvius. One of the symbols of good luck to ward off evil in Napoli is the horn or horns, which are really the horns of the devil, pointed downwards. So you can see on the left there's a hand doing the horn sign to ward off uh, evil spirits, obviously in coral because coral is a lucky charm. Here we have a cameo on the right and the head of Sileno. Sileno uh, used to be a mythical creature, a satire, who raised the god Dionysus. This is a bride's dress. Um, it's uh, Giancarlo Shune's grandmother's uh, bridal dress from 1915. And it's just to show you how the jewels would have been worn at the time. This is a, a set of jewels uh, created for Queen Farida of Egypt and uh, some copies uh, were made and kept by the Ashuni family but some of the jewels were lost because after the purchase of the jewels uh, on the Hello everyone. revolution in Egypt and the royals fled from the country. This is uh, the old logo of um, the Yashuni family, the head of Medusa. Medusa, as I was saying before, is this uh, Greek mythological figure, this divinity and witch that had uh, serpents instead of hair. And if she looked at you, you'd turn into stone. Medusa was um, killed by the Greek hero Perseo. Perseo used a mirror to avoid looking at her face and managed somehow to cut her head and um, he kept her head in a sack to use as a weapon against um, enemies so that each time he pulled the head out he would petrify his enemies but when, when the head was cut the blood that came out of Medusa's head made coral grow for the first time in the Mediterranean.